Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Legend of Andor. We are on day four, and this should be the end of this legend, if we can do it. There's one small little correction I need to do that I caught. For some reason, I didn't move this guy. This guy should be up here. Because basically, uh, this is what happened. These guys moved twice. So 26 moves to here, then 27 moves to here. Now, this guy is now number four, so he moves first. So he moves to here, and then this guy moves to here. So that is the situation. But anyway, the reason why we should be able to finish it this turn is because we've basically done everything we need to do. As long as we can kill this guy, which we should be able to. Now... The way the monsters are, are set up, this guy will come in here at the end of the round, but these monsters will all move basically close, but not into it. What I'm trying to say is that we actually have two action rounds to finish this game. So we're not quite as tight as I thought we were going to be. I thought that uh, it would be really, really tight, but we might be able to get away with doing everything this round anyway. So let's get straight into it with... Uh, the orange guy is in the sunrise box and he's here with the gore who actually has the herb so everything is going awesome so he's going to spend one and get assistance from the mage which means they both go up for an hour and now we just got to attack that dude and hopefully kill him so let's go a one and a two yablamo high numbers please we get a three and a four. That's not particularly good. There's no, we can't even fix that because if the other side of the dice is a three and a four. And this guy gets, come on, high number, a two, which ends up being a five after we use the ability to flip the dice. So that was pretty horrendous rolling. So that is five plus four equals nine. And then we have nine plus two strength for the mage and four strength for the scout, which equals a total of 15. So now we're only fighting a gore, so he's only got two strengths. So as long as we don't roll a double, we should be fine. No doubles. Okay, he gets a three. So that is a total of six, which is obviously a death because we only need four to kill. So you're dead, yoink. We move up here. Note there's no more monsters, so we're ready to win. We're going to take the herb and we're going to give it to the mage. And we killed a trog, so we're going to take two gold and stick it here. Now, while we're here, we're also going to flip over this thing for to peek at another location. So here's the deal. We currently own uh, a blue runestone. Now, to get the rune stones all functioning to roll the black die you need three rune stones of different colors so we know that this one is a good one right we know that we're probably going to go into this well area to get that three uh you know will okay so the question is this rune stone here near the near the dwarf the dwarf is actually last because uh, the orange player friend went first. And if you look over here, he's player two. So the dwarf is actually going last in this set of rounds. So what we're going to use his ability to peek at this rune, it's a green. And that way we know whether the dwarf should stop here or not, or whether he should just go straight up. But now we know we actually need to stop there. So it's all good. And that is the end of that book. Okay, it is now White's turn. So White has to spend one movement and get into the castle. Oh, you know what else I forgot to do? Friend is at the... Friend is actually at the... Uh, the merchant. So he's going to spend that two gold he got to... In fact, I'm going to give the two gold to her. 
she's going to spend the two gold and buy a water skin. That's what I should have done. And I'm just going to retroactively do it. It's pretty close enough. Whatever, man. And then he's spending one to get into the castle. He is then activating the hawk to do a trade. And he's giving her the stone. And she, he's taking the water skin and taking the herb. Now, he is at the zero space in the castle. He has the herb. Bam, we have cured the king. So the herb is now in space zero. That is one of our, you know, end of game triggers. Now all we need to do is kill this fortified monster in the in the tower. Okay, that's the end of his turn. Now it's her go. So she's going to go... So let's have a look at the way that the things are structured here. One, two will take her to the tower. One, two, three goes to the tower. If she goes down here, it's one, two, three, four to the tower. Okay, so it's quite difficult for her to get there, especially because we just gave away her water skin. We don't know what this one is, so I'm just going to go in there and flip this over. Okay, it's green. Now, we already have a green down here. That means we have to pick up this yellow. So she may as well pick up this green now. And she's gone. That was one movement. And what's her will's pretty low. So she is also going to tap this. Actually, I don't think she is going to tap that. She's just going to... You don't have to tap the wells. Tapping the wells is a may effect. We're just going to leave it like that and maybe use that for the white wizard. Okay. Bam. So now it is this guy's go. We already have the, the, the green thing, so we don't actually need to pick it up. What we do need is this thing here. So it is one, two, three, four to get in there. So if I spend a turn here, I gain one will. One will, which would give him two extra turns. Okay, so if I spend one turn to sit here, I will gain three will, which means this will go to 12, which means I could then go one, two, three, which means I could then take two out of time movements up here, or three out of time movements up here, which means I'd gain two turns without going down and losing a die. So that is huge. So we're going to do that. So he's just going to wait one turn where he is, flip over this, and gain three, one, two, three. Now this guy is going to come down into here for one, and flip over this. Oh, that's three will, excellent. One, two, three. And next is white. So white is going to go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, wait, wait. He's going to go one. Yeah, so he's going to go one, two. And that's one, two, three, four. And then one for five. So you can activate the spirit multiple times. So we activate it twice from eight move, which gets it all the way into the castle. And that's his turn. Okay, she is going to move one down. She's into, sp into the position. And now this guy 
what have we got again? We've got green, blue, and yellow. So we've got all the things. So he's just going to go one, two, three, four. Takes him to five. This guy's going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. And this guy is going to do his, uh, and during the, when he ended his turn, he's going to trade the gemstone. And now this guy is going to use his flask twice to get two free movement. So that's one, two. And then he's going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. And now it's the combat round and all will be revealed. If we win this combat, we win the game. So he gets plus one and these guys all take one hour. Okay. So let's do this. Firstly, we're going to flip this button here that says max. Yoink. This thing says the horn. The horn allows friend to roll all available dice to him in a battle round regardless of current willpower. This also applies to all other heroes who are fighting. Now, it doesn't matter because both of the two mages only have one die. But it does mean that we get to roll three dice instead of two. Oh, come on. High numbers, high numbers. Okay, five, not bad. Oh, wait. Actually, we have the helmet and a double four. And the helmet says, during battle, the hero may add all identical die results together. That is unbelievably awesome. So that is actually eight off that roll. Extremely good. This guy also gets to roll two dice. Come on, high numbers. He gets a four. Now, even if we flip these over, they basically change to the same numbers. So he gets a four, but he's going to use his witch's brew, which doubles it. So we actually get two fours. So that's another eight. And now it's the white mage who rolls the white die. He gets a six. It's on the two face. So the opposite side of the six is a five. So we're going to keep the six. And he is also going to activate his brew. So he gets two sixes. And finally, we have the mage who uh, rolls the black die. Come on, eight. Oh, look at that. The eight is the number one face. So the opposite side of the eight, your blammo, is the 12. Awesome. So that was pretty damn good rolling. So let's add this all up. We are eight plus eight plus 12 plus 12, which equals 40. That's crazy. But we're not done yet because we are also 40 plus 14 for the dwarf plus four for plus four for friend plus two for the mages, which equals a total of 22, 52, uh, 62. Wow, that is a crazy roll. Yep, that's correct, 62. So, unless this guy rolls a double, we've won the game. So no doubles, because remember, he is at 40. So, 46 strength he's sitting at. Actually, no, we don't plus that. He's 40 instead of 6 strength. Is that right? That's right, isn't it? The scroll has a power of 40. So, yeah, I've been planning on 46, but... 
Oh, 46 is where the, his health is 6. That's where I got for, the number 46 from. Okay, so we should be able to do this. Don't roll doubles, please. Even if we doubles, I think we'll be fine. Forgot to close my email client again. I'll just get rid of that. Hopefully I can edit that out. I don't need you seeing all that information. Okay, 6 plus 40, 40 is 46. We're at 62, so we absolutely pwned him for a total of 16 damage. We only needed six, so he is dead. This guy is dead. And as soon as he's dead, we just move straight to the N token. So boom, N. The party wins the legend if the medical herb is in space zero. Done, baby. The castle is not overrun. That is also done. The scroll in the tower is defeated. Yes, he was. The herb helped restore the king's will to live. The scroll fortress was destroyed, all while defending the castle from the invading hordes. Nevertheless, the heroes are worried. The king's son, Prince Thrandall, has still not returned home. What evils could have possibly befallen the prince to prevent him from returning to be at his father's side? Booyah! Legend of Andor. Andor cannot stay in tr out of trouble. I just cleaned up this mess and there's already another one. Thanks a lot. I'm not your mum. But anyway, that is it. That is the end of this quest. We did some... We did really well, I think. I think we did well. I think this hero is freaking awesome for this quest because he can move around the water spirit... Remember, we chose these heroes randomly, but he can move around the water spirit while staying put. So he can park himself in space zero like we did and then use the falcon to fetch the herb, but still contribute. Because normally, basically, one of your guys has to hang back, but he can still contribute by adding this powerful die. And uh, we had a double witch's brew. Now, remember, the witch's brew... You cannot use it with the black dice, like I said before, because I forgot that three runes is how much... You, you can't carry anything more, so black die cannot be used with a witch's brew. And the witch's brew can only be used on the hero's dice. It can't be used on alternative player's dice. You also can't use the witch's brew on a double. So see how he rolled an 8. If he had the witch's brew, he couldn't have turned that to a 16. But he could have turned the 4 into 8, which is the same thing. And we didn't even use this. We had a re-roll available as well. So that is that. That is the end of... I will see you guys next time. Now, this it might take a while for the next quest to be done because, like I said, this is my own mod and I'm pretty slow at modding. And uh, I literally have not built the content for Legend 3. But I will soon. And when I do, I will play the next one. And I'll see you guys next time. No matter how many times you save the world, it always manages to get back in jeopardy again. Sometimes I just want it to stay saved, you know, for a little bit. I feel like the maid. I just cleaned up this mess. Can we keep it clean for, for ten minutes? Please. Don't get up there. Uh, Not